Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Megan. I am a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this channel is your one-stop shop for evidence-based answers to your weight questions. So welcome. Today we're going to talk about another question I get asked about so much, which is such a good question. And that is, if I'm on a weight loss medication, can I just eventually go off of it someday? So let's talk about it. Uh, I do have patients who, when we're starting a medication or they've been on it for a little while, they say, oh, you know, eventually I'd like to go off of this. You know, what do you think about that? And it's a great question, but I don't think it's a good idea. And I'll tell you why. Uh, when we look at the research in terms of what happens when people go off of their weight loss medications, uh, it's not good. It really works when you take it and it stops working when you don't take it. So let's, I'm going to draw your attention to two key studies and I'll list these references down below. Um, and then there are a couple other studies you can check out about different uh, other medications in the past um, where they have also looked at comparison. But just looking at, you know, the most popular medication right now, which would be semaglutide, aka Wagovi or Ozempic. Um, if we look at the step one extension study, so that was a study for semaglutide in patients with overweight or obesity who did not have diabetes, uh, week zero to 68, uh, they were on semaglutide, they lost about 17%, uh, they had about 17% weight loss compared to 2% placebo, and that was on the 2.4 milligram dose of semaglutide. When patients who were on that then stopped, and they looked back, uh, checked back in with them a year later, where they had regained about two thirds of the weight that they had lost. Uh, and the greater amount of weight the patients had initially lost, the more weight they regained. Now there was a limitation here in that they also had stopped the lifestyle efforts. So that's gonna muddle the results a little bit, but overall they did regain a significant amount of the weight that they had lost. Uh, and then also if we look at the step four study, uh, again, looking at semaglutide in um, patients with overweight or obesity who do not have diabetes, uh, this was a great, uh, really well-designed study. They had um, patients who were on semaglutide, they titrated it up over 20 weeks, uh, mean body weight loss was around 10%. Then they randomized them, so they kept some of them on the semaglutide and some of them went on placebo and they all continued with the lifestyle intervention uh, arm. So both, uh, both the placebo and the semaglutide groups continued with the lifestyle changes. And then when they looked at the results from week 20 to week 68, the patients who had continued to stay on the semaglutide, they had lost an additional 7.9% of their body weight, whereas the patients on the placebo had only uh, had actually regained 6.9%, uh, and that was over 48 weeks. So the total body weight loss for the whole study for semaglutide patients lost 17.4%, uh, uh, had 17.4% weight loss, and then for the patients who were in the placebo arm, they only ended up losing about 5%. So they went down, then they went back up. So again, I think these are both uh, really helpful studies to look at in terms of what happens when you stop taking, uh, when you, at least when you stop taking semaglutide. So I, usually if I'm talking with somebody about starting a medication, it's always part of the discussion uh, in that this is a lifelong medication. Uh, and so it's really a commitment and you wanna be prepared for that. Now, you know, the patients didn't regain 100% of the weight, but we're also not following them for, you know, decades. But the trend is that when they go off the medication, they tend to regain the weight. And I think as we have more and more of these medications and we have more and more research, we will probably get to a place where we can be a little bit more, have a little bit more finesse in terms of, um, you know, maybe we back off a little bit, maybe we don't. Uh, I think there's room for that uh, discussion 
ongoing. But for now, if you are thinking about being on a weight loss medication, really think about it in terms of this is probably something that I will be on lifelong and am I okay with that? That's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my references will be listed down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, do all the things, and uh, share it with a friend or share it with somebody if you think there's somebody who might benefit from this information, please pass it along. Um, if there are questions that you have or videos that you would love to hear about, please let me know, and always, please be well.